Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make keyframes in Cyberlink PowerDirector 8 Ultra. So, before we get started, a few quick things I want to go over with you. When you make keyframes, you want to make smooth transitions from each position where you're moving the camera to. So that means you have to, I guess, make chains of keyframes. What I mean is you have to have two keyframes at one position, then move to the next keyframe position that you want and have two keyframes there. It makes the camera stay in one position for a certain amount of time, whatever time period you choose by adding in your keyframes. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's get going. Start doing some editing. So I'm going to click on this clip here. I'm going to click on Power Tools. And I'm going to click on Video Crop. So first things first, let's talk a little bit about what you see here. First and foremost, you see the preview window. So whatever you do on your keyframes, you'll be able to see how it's going to look when you're finished here in the preview window. Secondly, you have a thing here where you can go ahead and change the angle. So let's say I did a 15 degree angle and I hit apply rotation. Then you see how it looks on the preview and you see how it's going to look because the diamond where the crosshair goes where you can move the camera and your cropping has moved. So let's go ahead and take that out. I'm going to click on undo. It'll undo that. You got your play button, stop. You got your step forward, step back, go through your frames. You have a uh, where you can move for, to the previous keyframe or you can move to the next keyframe. You can delete a keyframe, you can add a keyframe, or you can duplicate the previous keyframe or the next keyframe. This is an important button here. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see right now, we're at a position where we're not really getting the full video. So you want to go ahead and pull it out so that you do have the full video. And you want to go ahead and go to the last keyframe because it's still not full on that keyframe. So you want to do duplicate keyframe and you want to duplicate the previous keyframe. So now it's got the whole video all the way throughout. So I'm going to go back to the first keyframe. So now I'm going to move this forward to a position where I think I want to add my first keyframe. I think that's pretty good there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the previous keyframe. Okay. The reason why you do that is because you have to have the camera stay in one position from here to here. If you don't do that and you have a keyframe here with a different position, as you'll see in a minute, you'll see the the cropping go down and you'll see the, the camera go down to where you want it to go. So let's add in our next keyframe so I can show you what I'm talking about. So my next keyframe, I'll go ahead and put it in here. So I'm going to click on add keyframe because now I want the camera to move to a different place. So I'm going to move the crosshairs over the blue diamond and I'm going to move it where I want the center of the shot to be. I'll move it up a little bit here. And you can see where it's going to be in my preview window here. So now let me show you what I was talking about. What happens is, of course, it moves to that position. But if I don't add another keyframe in, it starts to move back out on its own. So it won't stay where my feet were. So what I have to do is I have to add another keyframe to duplicate the previous keyframe. And now between these two keyframes, it will stay, the camera will stay right there on my feet. And once again, there it goes, moving back out. So what I want to do now is I want to add another keyframe here. So I will click on Add Keyframe. And I'm going to move the blue diamond again up here. Make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to click play. And so I'll add a keyframe where I'm going to duplicate the previous keyframe. 
so that it stays in that position between those two keyframes. I'm going to hit play again. And then I'm going to add a new keyframe. I'll move this down. Okay, play. And once again, I need to duplicate the previous keyframe. And I will go ahead and add a new keyframe here. I'm going to bring the camera back up. Now remember the last keyframe was full screen, so I went back out to full screen, but I don't want it to be full screen. So I'm going to click on select next keyframe until I get to the last keyframe. And I'm going to click on duplicate, and I'm going to do the previous keyframe so it stays up top at the end. So what you want to do now is you want to preview this. You want to take a look at it, make sure everything is how you like it, make sure it goes together well. And then if you like how it looks, go ahead and click OK and it's in your timeline all ready to go there you go how to make keyframes in CyberLink PowerDirector 8 Ultra thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon